Hi viewers, welcome back to the Jenkins tutorial part 6. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to configure the Maven projects in Jenkins using the version control system as Git. So, I am not going to use Git local version control system as uh, instead of using that, I am going with the GitHub website because it is an online account. You can create a free account here. Already have an account. So, I am going to do a sign in. So once you sign into GitHub, automatically what are the previous repositories there that will be uh, here. So you can find it in the bottom section. Uh, this is uh, these are all are the Git repositories. In this sample web application is a Maven project. If you click on the Maven project repository, automatically you will find the form.xml in your root directory itself. This is the basic entity to do a build and all things in Maven. So we can call it as a like a build script or as something else and to check, do a check out and all you can use the urls like https and ssh both are very secure to lay, secure to protocol so you need not to bother about the security perspective so simply i am going to use, copy this url to configure the repository in jenkins so uh, now we are going to switch to jenkins in jenkins click on new item as a, as previously i have shown that one that video is also here you can create a uh, like uh, Maven project demo. So I have given you some text means that is nothing but a job name or project name in the Jenkins. Select the Maven project, then click on OK. It will take you into the con job configuration press. Here it will give the description about the project. You can write anything according to your project. Discard old builds means that will if you have a, if you perform multiple builds, if you want to dis delete the automatically if you want to delete the old builds then you will go with the, this option so these all are the things when, whenever you are performing a complex build so you will use this all options according to the requirement but here i am going to do a simple configurations in the source code management in the source code management or by default you, your git option will not be available so for that if you want to if you want to use git in jenkins you need to install the plugins separately uh, by going to manage jenkins and then manage plugins section you will directly you can download the plugin and install the plugins there so whatever the url i have copied here https so i have copied then i am going to paste it here then automatically it will do a checkout from this url and if it is for this you need to have the internet connection because github is an online web account so to do a checkout or check-ins or to perform a build and all you need to have online support then as credentials so HTTP is in the github they will provide a private and public so private uh, repositories if you want to have a private then you need to purchase some license and all uh, so I am not purchasing any uh, private uh, I am not going with any commercial so I am using public accounts so public free so for the public accounts you, you need not to give the credentials because automatically it will do a checkout so that can be anyone now i am going in the sm so we have configured the git and git repository here and after that in the build section in the build section you need to hire the form.xml root form is nothing but a form.xml file and goals goals is in maven there are different several goals are available like uh, validate, clean, compile, package, install, deploy. These are the goals by default available in Maven. So if you want to do a package, means if you is a Maven project, this Maven project is nothing but a web application. I am making an app web application. So my minimum output would be the var file. So whenever we will build the web application, then automatically it will be either var file or er files. So here I am going want to go with the package. So package means nothing but a uh, packing all the code as a war file now in the if you want to perform the if, before package automatically it will do a validate and clean then compile then package so automatically it will come up with a sequential order so you need not to provide clean and compile separately so if you provide package goal now automatically it will do all the things it will execute pre what are the previous goals are there that will like, that will be executed and then in the the build section we have configured so we have configured repository and build so in build what we have to do 
that one also we have configured in the post build sections you can do you can invoke the shell script or and script or batch script means cmd command line prompt windows command prompt script as well or you can deploy the you can install the many plugins like tomcat deploy plugin and websphere deploy plugin so if you install the plugins automatically it will be enabled here you can able to see here so once you select the if you want to do a tomcat uh, if you want to do uh, deployment of this war to tomcat server it just simply install that plugin and that option will be here the option will be enabled here auto if you choose this one automatically it will ask uh, a root path of that uh, tomcat server where it is existed and the username and passwords and all so if you provided that automatically it will do a deployment in the next tutorial as i am going to show with the deployments and uh, complex builds so as of now i am going with the simple configuration of maven project so after that you can enable you can enable email notifications as well if you configure the mail server in the jenkins so this is one. if you want to make this uh, artifacts as a archives archives nothing but a uh, zipping so like dot zip files or dot tar dot gz or like that files if you want to make then you can choose this option git publisher is nothing but a publishing this whatever the built outputs is there artifacts is there that will going to be published in the github again so now I am done with a simple configuration. Here I am saving my configuration, job configuration. I am triggering this build. Now build is scheduled. Then build is started. So I am clicking on the running build. Then you can find the console output here. Automatically it will do a checkout. And uh, if there are any dep uh, required dependencies there for project. So automatically it will download from the Maven. So Maven central repository means online. So already uh, I have used Maven many times. So that's why all the dependencies are available in my local repository. So th there is no need to install again. So build is succeeded. We got a snapshot option, snapshot war file and as well as sample application, web application dot war file. So this is the directory where we can find that application. So simply I am going to copy that one and I am navigating to the directory. So you will find the sample application dot war file. So build is succeeded. We got the artifact. Now you can go with the deployment if you want. Uh, and I am going to show one more thing. Polysium means whenever the changes uh, committed to the repository, automatically its job should be triggered. So for that, what we will do in the configuration, in the job configuration, We will configure the way in the force build sections. In the build trigger section, we will go with the polysium. Polysium is nothing but uh, whenever the commit is happened, automatically it will check for the repository when, 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 like that. So I am going to configure that section. So it will do a, it will check the repository for every minute. So here it is showing when it is going to be checked every minute. So means automatically for every minute each and every minute it will check the github website in sample web application repository if there are any changes occurred if there are any changes occurred so if any changes really occurred then automatically the build will be triggered so once build triggered automatically it will start the build execution or you will get build done so i have configured now I have to check whether it is working or not. I am going to show that one all that part also. So here already have I have done uh, checkout. So here we have the list of files that we already we have. So here src directory is there, target directory, pom.xml, read.txt file. So both four two files are there and two directories are existed. So I am simply I am going with the edit option. So Maven project. So I am going. This is Maven project. So I have edited. I am saving. Now do a git status. So this file is modified. Okay. So what you need to do is first use the git add so to update this one so i am read me that text actually it was added to the already it was added so now use the git status for every time now
now it is in green color so that files need to be committed to the repository now i am doing a git commit option git commit change the text now file is come now the changes are committed to the local repository so here only the changes has been done you can see whether but i am refreshing this web web repository so remote repository so last commit this one 16 minutes ago last commit was happened now i am going with the this is the first to commit so the 16 minutes whatever the commit happened in that this is the text committed to the repository so here i am clicking on the readme.txt now only this two words are there in that file right so this change whatever the changes we have made here that is not reflected into the remote repository for that you need to use a uh, git push command so it will do a so automatically whenever even if it is a public repository if whenever you are committing the changes from local to remote you need to have the credentials so i am giving the username as well as my password then only it will be succeeded so now i am doing a git status so all are clean your your branch is up to date with origin master nothing but a the working directory is clean that means all are committed so and as well as remote repository always is also up to date so you can check by refreshing it so 2 minutes ago only the commit was happened so commit message is there if you click on this file automatically it will show this is maven project so the commit was successfully that changes are reflected into the github here automatically it should do a build so now build also done i think you observed it just only 833 so just now only it was again so there are in build history you will find two only two builds now i am going with one more time I have added the text second stage. I have saved. Next, git add readme dot text. Next, git commit. Added second line. Sorry, I uh, I missed the iPhone I option. Now. committed to you can do a git status so working directory clean but you need to push means you need to publish your local commits to local changes to remote repository now i am doing just to observe here whenever the commit is happened automatically it will trigger the job in one minute so every every minute it will check the repository right so git push i fun you origin master so i am giving the credentials to commit the local changes to remote repositories yeah commit has happened to the remote repository just observe here automatically the job will be triggered and it will be executed so automatically it going it will be going to uh, refresh so build not yet triggered means that means to it will take it one minute time and after that it will be scheduled right so i did just a minute ago so now automatically it is in pending means the build is scheduled automatically the job has triggered successfully and it will be executed now
so in, it is in pending status still means that now it is executing so it is doing a checkout and automatically build is, build is succeeded that means we got a var file in the same directory means the old files the every time it will do a clean also clean goal also right so every time workspace will be cleaned and now and again if this file will be placed in the same directory so this is a things i am going to show in this tutorial so if you have any doubts and uh, if you want to any do comments in the mention in the comment section thanks for watching bye nice